Alright folks, welcome back to Farming Simulator 19. My name is Drake, I am the Farming Aviator. It's been a, a little bit since I've been on here. Took a little hiatus from recording. And now we're back at it. We're on a new map here, this is called Flint Hills. Let's get to it. off by a little uh, farm tour here. We are on the Flint Hills map. This is based in, I think, Fairbank, Iowa. Um, so, so far enjoying this map. I did uh, set up a little farm. So, I'm starting this new series. The idea behind this is to start small, work our way up. We've got older equipment. Kind of the cool mod I found was uh, buy used equipment mod um, that puts a lot of hours on. You have to repair it right away and has virtually no fuel. So you have to do all that. So we used, uh, and then the equipment it comes at a big discount. So we uh, started with, uh, I think it was just 1.5 million and uh, bought all the equipment that we needed. Um, we are still kind of short equipment for what I'd like, plus we'd like to eventually you know, upgrade. So let's take a tour of that. Here's our house. Um, this is part of the main farm here when I bought it, this house, this uh, little shed, and this cow barn. So we may eventually do cows, um, but uh, we'll see. We're just trying to get our farm started right now. You see one of our fields is right here. I put this shed down. We are using the new precision modding um, DLC. And so for that you need uh, this antenna here, RTK station. Uh, it helps with accuracy, with farming, all the equipment uses GPS, kind of goes through that and relays to that. So. It is uh, mid-autumn, um, we planted, what is this, canola, yeah canola, um, after harvesting our soybeans. So we did already harvest soybeans. Uh, let's open this, uh, you see we got a lime station here, we will be using lime a lot more often, just about uh, prior to uh, planting any crop, so a New Holland uh, uh, skid steer here, mower, and then uh, this is the John Deere Gator, and this is a precision modding tool. This measures soil samples um, so that we can get uh, info for the field on what we need for lime, fertilizer, all that stuff. So we got uh, a little bit, a little slurry station here, um, and then some nice big silos for silage. So we may do some of that. Here's our regular green silos. Got a nice little storage set over here. Um, and I haven't used this one yet either. And then this uh, this is the stuff I added on mostly the bigger grain silos. Um, we got a bigger shed here. We got uh, NMC. I forget which truck this is. Um, but the NMC truck, uh, he's got a bunch of mods out for that. Fuel trailer. If we open this up, here is our planter. This can also seed. It's the uh, Great Plains, the smaller one. And then we got uh, some New Holland equipment, a case holder tractor. So we got a T7. This is our main tractor for doing uh, spread line, fertilizer, slurry, all that. And then we got the uh, bigger T8. I think it was the 380. Yeah, the T8 380. So it doesn't have that much horsepower. We don't need it for much right now. Um, so I just bought a, uh, one with a smaller engine. We may upgrade that to tracks on the rear eventually. We'll see. And then we have the Case Steiger 480. So another smaller Steiger. only has 480 horsepower. Uh, for the equipment that we have, uh, we'll be okay with that. Um, so uh, yeah, that's all the tractors we have. Over here, you see we got a New Holland harvest. So that's we have this New Holland header, a nice spray trailer here, hauling liquid fertilizer, herbicide. So this is uh, one of the bigger pieces of equipment that we're leasing. The uh, case will be able to, the case can pull this. So we we're going to use this to plant uh, winter wheat and stuff. That'll be mostly in this big field, and then uh, soybeans, stuff like that. It's going to be a little bit easier to plant. And then uh, over here, 
We got uh, New Holland Harvester CR790. Um, we're going to be pulling this out. Let's actually get this started. See, it is pretty nice. It is used. Yeah, if you look in the bottom right hand corner, 123 hours on it. Um, but it works well. It's only got, uh, it's got 14,000 liter grain tank, so that's uh, pretty good. Uh, we got our cultivator here. And then uh, our uh, slurry spreader, I guess, slurry spreader. Um, here and then uh, our uh, lime fertilizer spreader here. So you'll see uh, we'll do slurry more often uh, in this series because of precision modding. It works a little bit better to use slurry. Oh, and then here's our uh, grain cart, our horse grain cart. So some of the equipment uh, we'll think about upgrading rather quickly. I think are going to be the planter, uh, cedar. We are just leasing this big cedar. And it's an 18 meter wide unit. There's another cedar I've been looking at by uh, Massey that can seed and fertilize. So we might be using that. We might buy that, or that can seed, fertilize, and plant, plant corn and stuff. So we may use that to upgrade. Let's see if we can get out of here. Let's go to the outside view for this. There we go. So you guys, uh, since we last talked, uh, it's been a while. I'll give you updates here um, later in the video, and maybe some videos to come. But for now, let's get set up to get over to our cornfield. Let's go get this lined up. Leave that running, and then we need a tractor. We'll just use the T8, uh, New Holland T8, to uh, pull that green card. It's really not big at all. And then uh, we got trucks over there already, so we are all set. So we got, uh, this is our main, our biggest field here. We got uh, canola planted to grow over the winter. And then uh, we got two cornfields right now. So we still have to harvest both of those. So we'll, uh, we'll get that done here relatively quickly and then we'll have to plow, try to get some fertilizing done before winter here. And uh, yeah, so we still got quite a bit to do and then we gotta, uh, we gotta make some money. So we gotta sell all our crops. So we'll hire a worker here to follow me. Let's change this because I had him set up to follow me when I was actually harvesting. There we go. So he's just gonna follow behind us. See, he's in there. She's in there, all ready to go. Let's take this over to our field. It is straight in front of us there, across this field. So not too far away. Let's get our flashers and beacons on. So that's looking good there. Flood onto the highway here. See our workers following us. We're all set there. I'll see you guys over at the field. All right, folks, we're pulling into the field here. Our uh, neighbor right here gives permission to go across his field at any time, really. So that's why we're doing that. It's kind of a weird field to try and get into. We turn hazards and beacons off. Let's get this thing unfolded. unfolded. Guys, not only did I get some new mods and stuff since uh, I last posted a video, I got this uh, cool steering wheel and uh, a side control panel. It has all these buttons and stuff that uh, I can use for Farming Simulator to control all the equipment, so it's pretty cool here. Alright, so I got our worker. He's just going to follow us, which is fine. Let's turn this on. Alright, get it going. I haven't used this header, so let's see how this works. I should go to the outside view here. We'll get a headland done here. There we go. See so yeah, how this New Holland Harvester is pretty cool. 
Uh, works really well for the smaller size farm. Like I said, we only have three, so we only have three fields. Uh, our biggest one is on the farm there. These other two aren't very big at all, so. Oh, well, this header works pretty good. I like how it folds up, too. We may have to keep this thing. You see our worker there is following us? I can uh, manipulate that worker to come up to beside us and stuff. It's a new mod I haven't used before. It's a follow me mod. Uh, so it's definitely really cool to use. Not only moving equipment between fields, you can get everyone lined up and uh, and have them just follow you out to the field, but uh, you can do different stuff with harvesting um, and uh, with things like that. So that's pretty neat. So let's uh, get this headline pass. You see, uh, this corn is yielding pretty good. So that's awesome. I'm going to get this headlamp pass done, and we'll see you guys once we're probably going around the uh, other edge of the field. Alright guys, so we're not even going to make it all the way back uh, to the edge, which is, I mean, that's good. We are going to uh, have a really good yield on this field. That rhymes. But uh, let's uh, get this open. And ourselves unloaded here. Oh, am I too close? I must be too close. Let me just flip it around here. So guys, I love these tractors, but uh, ooh, we're going to go in the ditch here. Yep. I love these tractors, but I think uh, some of the tractors I'll upgrade right away is probably get a bigger, uh, large tractor, maybe a new case Steiger or quad track. And then uh, maybe, or a new Holland T9. Um, I would love to upgrade the planter and this harvester right away. So we'll see how much money we make from corn harvest um, and all of that. So let's kind of pick and choose. Let me show you the farm while we're unloading here. Give it a second to save. All right, so we have uh, three fields. We have, this is the main farm. This is our biggest field. You see, we got canola planted. We got corn here in field 16 and field 5. So, with the new precision modding DLC, let's go to that tab. We have a new tab and everything. So, these are our uh, field types or our soil types. We have uh, this is probably our best field actually because we have uh, the sandy loam and loam covering most of the field. The silty clay is not that great. And that's why this field I don't think will have a very great, a very good yield. Uh, this field should be pretty good because it's mostly loam. Um, the worst soil type is loamy sand. Um, so when we try to when we look at buying fields, uh, if we click on one, let's go back to this tab, go lands. Say we want to buy this field right next to us. You see there is a little bit of loamy sand in it. Our expected yield potential is only 99%. Let's look at a different field. This bigger one over here. See, it has less than 1% loamy or no loamy sand, less than 1% sandy loam, and then mostly loam, which is good. Silty clay is okay. Um, so, but we're expecting 107 for the yield type or yield percentage. So, when we buy a field in the future, we want to look for that pH. That's our um, pH level, if we need to add lime to a field, we'll know that. You can see uh, this field we may not have to add any, we may have to add just a little bit of lime to as we harvest it. You see on this edge it's kind of going down. And then uh, nitrogen, um, I didn't have to add any fertilizer after soybeans, which is super nice. So soybeans are super uh, great for the soil. We'll be doing, I think, soybeans in both of these fields, uh, if I remember right next year. Maybe sunflowers was one. But uh, you see, as you harvest corn, it just takes the nitrogen level, takes all the nitrogen out of the field. Um, and then we have our yield. You see, our yield is pretty good. Uh, and this is from the uh, soybeans we harvested. So you see right here, it's not super great, probably about 90%. But then here we got, uh, what's that, 125 and then 105 here. 
And you see that relates to the field soil type, right? So the sandy loam, not super great, but still good. But our loam was the best. So uh, that's a little preview at that. All right, let's get the pipe in. Get this going. Alright guys, so like I said, I started off pretty small. Um, with this series, we'll want to like slowly upgrade our fields and equipment. Um, probably just going to be upgrading some of the equipment first. Uh, and then get into maybe buying another field. We may sell that smaller one to help us buy another bigger one. So we'll see where that takes us. Uh, all the fields around us are pretty big. So we'll have to see what exactly we want. We may even sell, I don't know, this field is pretty good so I don't necessarily want to sell it, but then we'll have two big fields instead of, you know, one big field and two small fields. So we'll kind of see what we want to do uh, going forward, how much money we make and that kind of thing. So, so yeah guys, so I'm liking this new Holland Harvester, this new Holland Header. Um, we do have a John Deere dealership over in Fairbanks. Uh, I think it's Fairbanks. Not Fairbanks. Um, but, uh, so I've been talking to the guy there. He's really trying to sell me on deer equipment. i got to turn a little bit here. Get this. He's been trying to sell me on deer equipment. Um, but I really like this new Holland equipment and stuff. And I really like, you know, I like case equipment. I haven't really done a series um, with a whole lot of case equipment. So we may uh, try to trend that way, but I'm sure we'll get some John Deere demos here and there. Uh, and then, uh, so that'll be kind of the series moving forward, guys. Uh, like I said, I'm going to be kind of jumping around here. I, uh, I do have work going on, you know, which is great. I got hired by a really great company. The reason I kind of took this hiatus is because I was in training. And that, you know, was a whole month long. It was really intense. Uh, the way to describe it is drinking through a fire hose. Uh, just trying to get all that information down, all the company information, learning a new aircraft, um, all that stuff. New policies, procedures in the aircraft. So it's a lot of information uh, to uh, kind of digest and uh, work through. I did uh, do do. I did do two trips already, uh, so super excited about that. Really great company to work for. I'm excited to, and feel really lucky to be a part of this company. And uh, it's one of those companies where I think I'll, you know, be there the rest of my career. So that's exciting for just being, you know, 30, 30 years old and being able to say that. So um, I'm gonna do some headlands here, get the headlands done, and we'll jump into a time lapse after that. All right, so we'll see you guys in a little bit.
well, we are gonna keep on working on that field. We'll probably get that finished here. You guys might see, uh, might see the next harvest, uh, that other field in the next video. I gotta run these trucks back. We got our worker over there running the harvester. So he's probably gonna finish that little section there while I'm uh, dumping these trucks. And then uh, we got some work to do, like I said. We got a plow. Um, I'm gonna try, I think, to do one field with anhydrous. So we got a cultivator that can do anhydrous, also imply anhydrous. And then we'll also do one field slurry. And then cultivate the slurry in. So we'll see, uh, kind of do an experiment, see which one works better, uh, probably in the upcoming videos. Alright guys, we'll see you guys next time.